Hi dear friends and welcome to Pulmonology Read Aloud, your one-stop guide to everything in pulmonology. Today I present you the part 6 of my lung function test series. I am Dr. Anjuman Ejarura and we'll be talking about body plethysmography today. So body plethysmography, the term is basically derived from a Greek word plethysmos which means enlargement and graphy meaning measurements. So we are actually measuring the enlargement or the changes in volume and pressure in this airtight sealed box or, a, or an airtight chamber in which the patient will be sitting. Now this is the best measure to ascertain the functional residual capacity, the residual volumes, the airway resistance and the pressures. So we can derive a lot of parameters like the residual volume, the total lung capacity, but we can also find about the airway resistance through this method. Now here the patient is actually instructed to sit in this chamber and uh, he's asked to uh, sit comfortably in a way that the mouthpiece can be uh, fixed in his mouth without having to flex or extend the neck. This patient will now take um, multiple breaths quietly uh, through this mouthpiece. But once he sits, before that the machine is prepped, calibrated, the temperature transient uh, temperature differences, the thermal drift, they are all corrected. And then he starts breathing quietly until an end expiratory level is achieved. So when does that happen? Usually after uh, 3 to 10 tidal breaths. Now when your patient is taking the breaths and he's at or near the FRC, the shutter is closed. So the shutter here at the mouthpiece is closed at end expiration for 2 to 3 seconds and the patient is asked to perform gentle pants. So uh, breathe in and out against the closed shutter. And this frequency is almost between 0.5 to 1 hertz and the panting frequency is really really important because you know if he has a higher frequency it can lead to errors so we keep a watch on that and uh, so we assist the patients and with three to five satisfactory panting maneuvers once they are recorded and then the shutter again is opened and when the shutter is opened the patient will perform a ERV or expiratory reserve volume maneuver and this will be followed by a slow inspiratory vital capacity maneuver and um, if if he is too tired you can actually also ask him to come off the mouthpiece and and to rest between the vital capacity maneuver but then it's preferable to do it in one go he tries to inhale uh, basically at the end expiration here because the panting maneuver is starting then uh, but because it's a closed glottis uh, the shutter is closed there's actually no inhalation so what's happening is that when he tries to pant there is some lung expansion and some change in lung volume uh, because of change in the pressure in the lung and that's what we are actually measuring so here we are looking at um, the mouth flow in exhalation we already know the box pressure which is pb plethysmograph pressure we are trying to ascertain the pressure in the airway pa airway pressure we do not know the end expiratory volume which we are trying to find but we already know the plethysmograph volume after having calibrated it which is the box volume so this these are the parameters that we so essentially it is very important to understand that the volume and the pressure has to remain constant in this closed chamber so if there is any change in the volume in the lungs it will be associated with some change in the volume in the plethysmograph also so any increase in lung volume will have a decrease in the plethysmograph volume so ultimately the pressure and the volume will stay constant in this system so to determine what is the volume that was in the lung we can measure the change in the volume and then we can determine that from the total so how do we do that we apply Boyle's law to the plethysmograph and we also apply the Boyle's law to the lung of the patient so here if PB1 is the pressure which was in the plethysmogram in the beginning which we can measure. VB1 is the volume in the plethysmogram which we can measure in the box. PB2 is the final change in the pressure and VB2 is the final change in the volume in the plethysmogram. Then this 2 has to be constant. So we know the pressure, we know the volume that was initially there, we measured it. 
and now we will know the new pressure we can measure it in the box in the plethysmogram but the new volume is actually VB1 which was the initial volume minus a little change because when your patient is inspiring against the closed shutter the closed glottis there is still some change in volume in the lungs so the volume in the lungs goes higher it increases so the plethysmograph has to lose some of its volume so what is this lost volume if we know this lost volume we can use it to determine the lung volume and how do we do, do that again if you look at the Boyle's law at the lung level here we can measure the airway pressure in the lung at the start we we do not know the volume of the lung at the start which is our unknown volume the at the end of expiration the forced residual capacity or FRC we can measure the P2 or the pressure in the airway at the end of the maneuver and we have a V2 so the airway volume and the air airway pressure at FRC should be equal to the airway pressure during the effort which is P2 and the lung volume which is V2 which is the original lung volume plus a delta V so now you know these variables you know the airway pressure you know the lung you multiply them and you know the airway pressure new so if you divide this you will get a V2 which is the lung volume plus delta V and this delta V we derive from the plethysmograph Boyle law which we did in the previous slide so if we know that then we can estimate the lung volume so Boyle's law application to both the plethysmogram and to the lung will help us ascertain the change and from the change and knowing the total volume we can ascertain the existing lung volume so it's the best measure for FRC except from diffusion all the other measures can be obtained from the plethysmogram our next video will be on diffusion Thank you.